environment and the lives of future generations through its long-term catastrophic effects. Here's who owns the most destructive weapons on the planet and the safeguards in place to make sure they don't use them. Nine countries make up what is referred to as the nuclear club. The US, the UK, Russia, France, Israel, Pakistan, India, China, and North Korea. But it's Russia and the US that possess 90% of the world's nukes. There are over 13,000 nuclear weapons in the world today, but in most cases, the exact number in each country's possession is a closely held national secret. A nuclear weapon, which can be delivered via air, land, or sea, is a device that uses nuclear reaction to create an explosion, giving off four types of energy – a blast wave, intense light, heat, and radiation. The explosion creates a large fireball, which vaporizes upward into a mushroom-shaped cloud. The material in the cloud drops back down to Earth as a fallout, which is radioactive and can contaminate anything it lands on. Some nuclear weapons, like the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, can travel as far as 3,400 miles. That's the distance from New York to Alaska. The U.S. invented the nuclear weapon and, in 1945, conducted the first nuclear test explosion, called the Trinity Test. That same year, the U.S. detonated two more nuclear weapons, atomic bombs, on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing over 200,000 people. World War II ended soon after this, but then the Cold War started. The nuclear arms race began as the Soviet Union, the UK, France, and China began conducting their own nuclear test explosions. Countries started stockpiling nuclear arms amid the Cold War, and at the height of the nuclear age, there were 70,000 nuclear warheads around the globe. But in the years that followed, the UN introduced a slew of treaties to prevent nuclear weapon ranks from expanding further, such as the Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT, in 1968. Today, almost every country in the world is part of the NPT, except for South Sudan, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. After the Cold War, the number of warheads decreased drastically, thanks to arms control agreements and the dismantling of retired equipment. But nuclear powers like the US and Russia are in the process of updating their arsenals and have no intention of giving them up. Between 2019 and 2028, the US will have spent $494 billion on upgrading its arsenal, modernizing outdated equipment from submarines to ballistic missiles to nuclear